SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, we got news out of Global Star. Why this is a big deal? Because it impacts the iPhone user. I want to tell you guys what's going on. We got updates. Let's talk about it here in today's video. Link for the article from Space News. Provide that down in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, titled Global Star Gets Conditional Approval to Replenish Constellation. So the FCC has basically granted Global Star the ability to operate up to 26 replacement satellites, or what are known as NGSO, Non-Geostationary Satellite Orbit Space Stations, in Low Earth Orbit, or LEO. Okay, so to me what this sounds like is there need to be some repairs, there need to be some replacements, some improvements to the technologies and the gear that goes up into space to provide connectivity for the SOS features that you guys see enabled on you know, iPhones that have the capable hardware. So what it'll do is it'll allow for improvement in performance and coverage to Global Star's mobile satellite services. Probably important as they kind of try to launch the service, no pun intended. Uh, but, you know, they've got this mission they're trying to complete in which they provide, com you know, thorough mobile satellite connectivity when folks are not connected to terrestrial networks. You know, so you've got the iPhone 14 generation, you've got the iPhone 15 generation moving forward, of course, you know, throughout the, the future of these launches. You know, the phones will be able to connect to these more readily, uh, more easily, more reliably. I think that's what this is really all about. Now, it is designed for emergency connectivity only. It's not designed uh, to be a primary connection at any point. Uh, but when it comes to this type of a use case, I think what Global Star is able to do is it seems pretty, pretty good, right? And, you know, the thing about the, you know, the whole race to space for connectivity, we've got Global Star doing it for the vendor, the manufacturer, Apple, with their iPhone devices. And then you have, uh, you know, what, what Google just announced with, with their Android platform uh, and, and Skylo, you know, they, and then you have carriers trying to do their own thing which I think they're trying to do a little bit more, right? They're trying to offer a little bit more of a robust connection as opposed to just emergency and SOS, a backup plan. I think what, you know, like AST with AT&T and Verizon and what SpaceX and Starlink is trying to do with T-Mobile, they're trying to give you a little bit more. The question becomes, how do you monetize? Are people willing to pay? I think they're all moving in that direction because they're dumping millions and even billions of dollars into these investments they're just going to have to produce a return for the time being these connections while small and bit connections are included in just having the hardware so i think there comes a point where you see these improvements you see the dedication of capex the spending of billions increasing the return is going to become more paramount so i think that that kind of lends itself to what we have to discuss here at the end and what we should do in the comment section is kind of talk about this you know, at what point do we expect Global Star, Apple to start charging for these features, to start charging for these connections, right? And then I think it spills over into the other providers as well. They're dumping even more money into the technologies at a faster pace. So we'll have to see what happens. So are you willing to start paying for connections like through Global Star and, and iOS uh, and, and then some of the other ones? Are you willing to pay for it? If so, how much? What does it mean to you to have that peace of mind, to have those backup connectivities? I think it's time we got to start talking about numbers, don't we? I mean, because I think it's inevitable. Eventually, they're going to want to return on that invested capital. Your take, your thoughts on this news and the question I posed here at the end of this video. You're the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.